Alrighty, thanks again for the fill, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. We're doing one case of 2017 select. 2017 select soccer. It's case break number 338. We did quite a few of these earlier. I am Soccer Breakers FC. If interested in joining my breaks, join our Facebook group, Soccer Breakers FC. All breaks are live on YouTube. Simply search Soccer Breakers FC. Check us out on our website, www.soccerbreakersfc.com. If watching on YouTube, make sure you click the little subscribe button. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Also, give us a thumbs up on the video. That would be greatly appreciated. All right, here we go. Here are your teams. Uh, so those two that are missing, we're going to go Cyrus and Swiss Paraguay. We're going to go Cyrus. All right. Uh, Louis, you got Argentina, Devon, Portugal, Zach, France, and PSG. Dan, England, Yari, Italy. Dan, Brazil, Yari, Germany, Dan, Spain, and USA men, Manny, Wales, Chelsea, Dan, uh, Kev, you got the ladies, Yen Wen, Belgium, Cesar, Mexi Mexico, uh, Ben, Cameron, Barca, uh, Manny, Real, Scott Fish, Netherlands, uh, Attila, Colombia, Chile, uh, Costa in the points, that's me. Uh, Poland, Attila, Turn, Bayern, Jerry, Gambino has Juve, Brad, King, Ireland combo. Harry, you got the Hungary combo. Jerry, soccer is uh, Croatia, Czech. Uh, Christian May, you got AC Milan. Just a quick note for Jerry and Christian, guys. You guys are new, I know. When you send payments on uh, PayPal, please make sure to always include in the PayPal comments what you're paying for. Uh, for example, you would put AC Milan uh, Select 338 or something like that. I, I get hundreds of payments uh, every day or two, so it can be very difficult to figure it out, especially some of you, like Jerry, you had a different name where you sent payment under, so it can be very difficult to figure out without notes. So please be sure to uh, include some notes with your payments. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, Sunny, you got Australia. Kev, you got Dortmund. Ma Mario, uh, Iceland, Turkey. Uh, I've got Switzerland, Paraguay. Sean, Atletico. Mario, uh, Austria. Yari, Roma. Jerry, Inter, and Bosnia. Good luck to everybody. Good luck, good luck, good luck. some sickness that's what I want to see I want to see some nastiness coming out of these so how are we all doing everybody went quiet all of a sudden start watching Chelsea highlights from earlier today my boy scored. Nice little six point cushion on Arsenal for the champ last Champions League spot. Oh, I don't know why. Let's put these here. 
put that over there. Let's see some nasty Greg Popovich. Let's see what we got here. Four dash I have no idea what that is. Holy crap, that's what guys. We may have a sick 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 a sick 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 case hit. I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure we might have a monster case hit. Because usually the kaboom comes in the box with the case hit, and I saw what appeared to be a green auto in that box, and then I saw what appeared to be a kaboom. So, that could be something super nasty for someone. Super nasty. the big screen. Como estas, Jose? Buena suerte. Buena suerte. Let's go. Jose has got me on the big screen. A big thumbs up on the big screen. He's got Argentina, let's do it. Here we go. We need a messy auto, let's see what we can do. Doing well, thank you, buddy. Doing quite well. Living the dream. Living the dream.
I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. So we're playing tomorrow. We got, I think, Leicester, right? Alexa, who plays in the English Premier League tomorrow? There aren't any English Premier League games during that time. Alexa, who plays in the English Premier League today? Crystal Palace will play in the Premier League later today at 7 a.m. against Leicester City. Everton will play in the Premier League later today at 9.30 a.m. against Tottenham Hotspur. Alright. So Crystal Palace against Leicester. I don't know what the line is on that sucker. Leicester's been playing really well. Ooh, it's at Crystal Palace. Hmm, that's an interesting guy. Uh... What do you guys think? Palace against Leicester. What the line is on that one? There's something to eat for when I wake up. Leicester's even money. Everton and Tottenham are pretty much uh, a wash as far as the odds go. Wow, Lester's coming off that 9 nothing drubbing. They beat Burnley, they barely lost to Liverpool, they beat Newcastle 5-0, they beat the Spurs. Wow, Lester has been on fire. They are playing really well. about palace oh well, that's not horrible oh that's a tough call that match I could see it being a tie
but the way Lester is scoring. All right, Kiran, I know you've got a, I know you've got uh, some thoughts on that match right there. To the EPL expert. Come on, guys, I need some help. I gotta bet the match because I have to have a reason to watch it. Otherwise, it'll be boring to watch. So I gotta have money on it. So what do you guys think? Thinking. Lester Everton, Lester Spurs. Ah, Spurs are playing so bad. I can't put money on the Spurs right now. Nothing. No thoughts at all. Lester and Spurs. There we go. Sean. Sean lays it out. I don't know, man. Spurs at Goodison Park. We think they can... Uh, Last few results for the Spurs. I like your Leicester pick. The Spurs' last five matches. They lost to Liverpool 2-1. They tied Watford 1-0. They lost to Brighton 3-0. They beat Southampton 2-1. And they lost to Leicester 2-1. Have they? Everton's been bad. So even more of a mess than... See that game being a, a tie. But yeah, Everton, wow. Everton lost four of their last five, too. They only beat West. You know, the only game they won is the game I bet against them. I bet on West Ham that one time. Or I think I had the tie, and they won 2 0 against West Ham. I remember that one. The tie, I kind of like the tie in that game. Because Everton is plus 170, Tottenham's plus 155, the tie is plus 255. Kind of like, when in doubt, bet the tie. But I do like Leicester, I'm definitely going with Leicester. Leicester's on fire right now. And the good thing about that is, if I bet on Leicester and I lose, then that means they're not getting the three points. And that helps out my Chelsea boys. So it's win-win. No matter what happens, I win. They either win money or Chelsea moves all by themselves into third place. It's amazing how, like, after that first game, man, you beat Chelsea 4-0. You would have thought, man, you was going to just have a great year and Chelsea was gonna I mean everybody was saying Chelsea that's it they suck it's a rebuilding year they're gonna not even top four is impossible and uh, I gotta say Lampard's done an amazing job you know that whole transfer ban thing may be a blessing in disguise for them because I don't think there's any way they would have played all these young kids 
if it wasn't for that transfer ban. Yeah, I mean, that, you know, even that game, that wasn't a 4 0 game. I mean, Man U was up 1 0, and it was pretty even, and then Chelsea just fell apart. You know, they were attacking, and then Man U kept getting them on the counter. I mean, Man U deserved to win, but it wasn't a 4 0 type of game. Got my authentic match worn Pulisic jersey coming from England. Not ma I mean authentic, not match worn by Pulisic, but you know what I mean. The same jerseys as the ones worn on the field. Like a, it was expensive. It was like 180 bucks, I think, with the with the number. Without, if you didn't want to numbers and stuff, I think it was like 160. Uh, where's my 100s? I like their jerseys this year. It has the whole Stamford Bridge kind of mesh into it. That's pretty sweet. I like the way it looks. Yeah, all these, I, I don't know a whole lot about them. I know, I know for some reason Chelsea always sucks when they play Man U. They should have beat them in that tournament, but they just, I don't know why they all played like a scrub lineup. You know, they bench like five or six of their regulars for that match. But I guess nobody gives a crap about the Caribou Cup. To two ninety nine, Lionel Messi still pisses me off to lose to Man U. Uh, Gareth McCulley to two ninety nine. To ninety nine or to forty nine, Pishek. I gotta say, I'm impressed with uh, with Lampard, considering he had zero experience. Uh, four of 75, Luke Shaw. I mean, he had a little bit of experience last year with Darby, but... To 299, Sommer. To two forty nine Duarte to one ninety nine Milic Belotti and El Sharawi, nice. Green All right, 100 bucks on Lester, done.
Hey, Daniel. We just did one case of Donruss so far. Uh, five of five. It was decent. It wasn't great. With the case hit wasn't so good because it was Alison, but we did hit a lot of numbered cards and some nice Dutch cards. But we were just all trying to decide who I should bet on tomorrow in the EPL. Consensus was uh, consensus was Leicester, so I went with Leicester. Eleven of ninety nine, Luka Modric. Now I'm trying to decide between definitely decided that we're not going to bet on Everton. We're going to bet either on Tottenham or the tie. I'm kind of leaning towards the tie just because it pays so well. Oh, nice. Ladies. We got Tobin Heath for the ladies. Long size. But now that we've said it, yeah. Well, the thing is, Tottenham hasn't been playing exactly well either. That's the problem. I mean, if Tottenham was tearing it up, I'd be like, and it's on the road, and Everton beat West Ham pretty handily at home a couple weeks ago. So, and I don't know what it is. Anytime I bet against Everton, I don't do so well. To 99, Hector Bellerin. To 249, Kalinic. Now, my philosophy is whenever I don't know what the hell to do, I just bet the tie, but it doesn't always work. Uh, 12 of 30, New Zealand, Rojas. It's very boring betting the tie, though, because then you're, like, rooting for one team or no team. And then as soon as one scores, then you're rooting for the other one. The Chargers. That's right. You got to bet the Chargers tomorrow. Let's see. You just reminded me. What's the line on that one? You know, it's kind of weird. I was, like, such a huge football fan. And, uh, honestly, the last couple years, a huge fantasy football guy, too. I was so into fantasy football for 20 years. I'd go to Vegas and play in the big money fantasy football tournaments and all that stuff. And last two, three years, I just, I don't think I've watched a football game this year. I mean, I've watched, like, parts of games, but... I don't know. Soccer just kind of took over, and since the, my Chargers left, just haven't been into it as much. Oh, I love the game. I'll get back into it soon. But yeah, I'm much more into the EPL right now than the NFL, personally. Uh, to two ninety nine, Walcott. All right, let's see what the Chargers are at. To 199, Milligan. Chargers. Four and a half point underdog against the Packers. Fernando Gago. There you go, Argentina. Not a messy, but hey, it's a little appetizer. Hmm, four and a half point underdog. 
against the Packers. Packers have been playing pretty well from what I gather. This is Echo, it's a 25. Forty four of seventy five, Clint Dempsey. Yeah, I was a huge NFL guy. I mean, like Sundays, you couldn't talk to me. I was like out. My wife was like, Oh, it's Sunday. That's it. He's watching football all day. Watch the first game, the second game, the third game. I'd be like glued to the TV. But somehow I lost interest along the way. Tomas Mueller. Uh, to 249, Pulisic. Big time into that whole fan duel and the other one. Uh, Draft Kings or whatever it was. God, I haven't gotten into a daily EPL fantasy betting because then I'd be uh, really hooked, I think. Yeah, I guess it's hard. But generally, football is like more predictable. Baseball, any team can beat any team on any day just because it's more... A lot more luck involved, I think, in baseball. That's why, you know, 100 wins is a lot in baseball. So that still means you're losing 60 games. So even the really good teams are losing 6 out of, you know, maybe 40% of the time. 35% of the time. Is it tonight? I didn't know. Alexa, when is the time change? In the United States, daylight savings time ended on November 3rd, 2019. It starts again on March 8th, 2020. Oh, so that's now. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 12.41 a.m. Did they switch it last night? Don't they switch it tonight? Oh, so so at two o'clock it's gonna be it's gonna be one o'clock or are we losing an hour or getting an hour? Wait a minute. We're gonna pull it back, right? So at two o'clock it's gonna be one o'clock. Right? Is that what's gonna happen? Oh, so you guys like you East Coasters right now, we're only two hours apart from each other instead of three, because you guys already pulled it back. Because 12.42 here, so that means it should be 3.42 a.m. back east, but it's probably only 2.42. To 125, Proddle. How about Lamella? Such a fine fella at the 2.99. Argentina getting some autos. Kev, you're Hawaii, right? Hawaii doesn't switch. I know some play like Arizona, I don't think switches either because sometimes they're two hours, sometimes they're three hours. All right, so that's what I was going to say, Sean. It's 12, so we're only two hours apart right now. Ooh, look at that. We got a green coming up. Good luck. Nice, my boy. Victor Moses, Chelsea, green. I'll tell you what, this case has had a lot of nice color. We have a not more color coming up. Three of five. Congrats, Chelsea. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. It's 1242 here, but I guess in about an hour and 15 minutes, it'll be, uh, so we can sleep an extra hour. There's your Mbappe. Let me top load these. These used to sell for like 30, 40 bucks back in the day. I don't think they do anymore, but a lot of people are getting those graded to 199 Cazorla. Yeah, I forget that. I can never. I suck at betting the NFL. It's like throwing darts. I have no idea what I'm doing. To two ninety nine, Kovacic. I bet. I do much better betting soccer than football. Cahill and Aspilicueta. I don't mind betting fantasy football, like doing the daily fantasy. I do better with those, but betting otherwise, no. To two forty nine, Oxlade Chamberlain. Bet on anyone playing the Dolphins, yeah. I don't know. Doesn't matter who. About to thirty. Jonas Hector. Sixteen of thirty. Tie dye. Nice. 9 of 10. Crystal Dunn. Gold autograph for the ladies. There you go, ladies. Kev. There you go, buddy. Got gold auto. Dunn. Nine of ten. Look at that. 9 plus 10, 19. Jersey number. Her jersey number should be 19, not 16. Really? Yeah, I'm, I used to be like really into daily fantasy sports. It was like a whole weekly ordeal. I'd spend a good 10, 15 hours researching it and then checking for injuries and then getting up at 7 a.m. and sticking in the last minute injury slots and uh and i did really well for about two or three years but now i just don't have the time to do it anymore and if you don't know what you're doing you're going to get killed about 95 percent of the winning is done by the top one two percent of players on those uh sites same guys playing over i used to play like 100 150 uh games a week uh, Simon, I would play a bunch of ten, fifty dollar. And I'd play like a hundred, hundred and fifty, ten, twenty dollar games to one ninety nine. Bolanos to one twenty five. Alvaro Morata. The 249, Mertens. Yeah, there are guys that, I mean, back then, I was small potatoes. I was playing like, I don't know, 1,500 to two grand a week. And I, I mean, there were guys on there that are doing 50 grand, 100. If you look at the big winners on there. And I wouldn't win all the time, but Usually about seven out of ten weeks. Seven, eight out of ten weeks. I was on fire for a while. Yeah, it's all math, math and maximizing your return and you try to have uh, players at every position that have a potential, especially the PYP factor. 
you know, you got to have a player at every position that has a chance to blow up. And it's all just trying to do the math to figure out, you know, it's, they pick them out for it. I mean, you know, if you, if you, uh, you know, join the different pay services too, there's always like eight or nine guys each week that are kind of, you know, low price guys that could blow up because of, usually because of injury. Vermeulen and Vertonghen. Yeah, I did, I, for two or three years, I did really well. But then once I didn't take it as seriously the last year, I, I didn't do as well. I, I don't even think I broke even. I think I lost money on the lens, and I just stopped doing it. Lukas Piszczek. Navas to 149. Yeah, I mean, that's fine if you're playing tournaments, Daniel. That's what you want to do if you're playing tournaments. But if you're playing, uh, like, three-team match, because it's a completely different strategy. If you're playing in a tournament versus if you're playing in, you know, weekly games, like with three people or five people. Usually my best were go-to was the three spotters. Sometimes I do five spotters. But usually three, four, or five spotters was what I would do. I'd do heads up, too, but heads up I, I wasn't crazy about. Um, I'd mostly do three spotters. So I'd usually, I'd be playing like 50 to a hundred three spotters each week. And with those, it's a, it's a completely different strategy. If you're going in a three spotter versus if you're going in like a 500 spot tournament, then you have to, cause everybody knows what they're, you know, you got to take guys that, you know, you got to take more risks in other words, because who cares if you finish in the top half, you're not going to make any money. And you can, I mean, you literally for like, you know, some of those tournaments for 20 bucks, you can win like $100,000 or I mean, it's crazy. Some of the amount or some of them even have million dollar prizes now to 130 Aguero. It's a nice little lottery ticket, you know, Aldo Serena to 99. It's fun. It's just very time consuming. Yeah, exactly. You finish in the top 20%, you get some money. You, like, get your money back, and then if you're up. Alvaro Morata there for Chelsea. That was numbered to 125. To 25, Rui Patricio. That's pretty good for 20, 10 cents. It was like 10 bucks, you would have won 2,500. Fifty three of one twenty five. 
to 49. Nice. Robin Van Persie. Very nice. Netherlands. RVP. RVP. Scott Fish. There you go, Fish. 34 of 49. Fish is in the house. Yeah, that's true too. You never know. Vermillion. To one ninety nine, Eric Dyer. Vidal. To two forty nine, Stefan de Vries. Fourteen of twenty five. I don't know. I think we're going to call it a night unless you guys want to fill that. I don't know if we got any of our European crowd. If you guys want to buy teams there, if we can fill that, I'll do it next. That's a Jersey Palooza break. Uh, I can do that one. I don't feel like I'm up to doing another Donruss, but I could do another Select if you guys wanted. Or Black Gold, but I don't have Black Gold up on the screen. To 299, Gudmundsen. To 299, Inler. Gokan Inler. Wow. Really? Did I just do that? Did I just do that? Boom! Shaka laka laka laka. Eder. What a case. What a case. What a case. Greens and now a black. Enter Jerry Gambino. Welcome to the breaks, Jerry. First time out. Boom. I think it's his first time out. Maybe second time. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and there are a lot of pros. A lot of people, basically, they make a living playing uh, FanDuel. Ed Air. One of one. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, especially when you win. Because you just see ching, 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 ching. Like they give you the projected amount that your money returns. And it's constantly going up. So it'll be like 1,000. Then it'll be 3,000. Then it'll be 1,500. Then it'll be 500. Then it'll be like 4,000. It goes up and down like when you're watching your daily total. Pretty stressful. It's like watching the stock market ticker. But then if you have like a player that does well, all of a sudden it'll jump up.
Yeah, and then zero. That, that yeah, you don't want that to happen. To 125, John O.B. McKell. Gotze and Ozil. To 249, Junuzovic. Keep it going. We've got two greens and a black so far, and we have another green coming for the case hit. Uh, Dybala and Cuadrado. I kind of saw that. To 125, Fabianski. Fimagasen to two forty nine Dimitri Payet Seventy five Clausen. Nice Marcus Rashford to one forty nine. It's been a nice case. Nice autos. Seven of one forty nine. That would have been a good to closest to ninety nine card. Wow. How about another green, guys? How about another green? Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. Mark Milligan. Very nice. Our third green already. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Sunny. Nice little $9 investment. Four of five. Mark Milligan. Wow. This has been a really nice case. And I get the feeling like the best is yet to come. I'm so excited. Grab your teams, guys. Come on, everybody grab two teams. Boom, we're full. If you guys want to do that next, I'll stay on and fill it if you guys uh, get some momentum going. It's early still. 
We're on fire tonight to 299 for Mino. Unless you guys want to do uh, Bundesliga <laughs> Museum. 15 of 30, Adil Rami. Little match worn material. Adil Rami. Tie dye patch autograph. Come on, you can do it. To 60, Martial. 60 of 60. Twenty-seven guys in here. I know you want to grab your teams, right? There. Any of those teams can win a super sick jersey. The Jersey Palooza. We're giving away fifteen monster prizes. Fifteen cases, fifteen prizes. Every case will get one entry in the Jersey Palooza promo. You can get Cristiano Ronaldo signed jersey, Pele, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho. Uh, in Zage, Cantona, Bergkamp, it's loaded. And most of them, this time I have the most, uh, the most jerseys from Icons, which is uh, by far the nicest ones are the Icons jerseys. So don't be shy. We got fourteen dollar Bosnia. Bosnia has a lot of numbered cards, a lot of autos, and lots of chances at the promo. Belotti. To one twenty five, Candreva. To 199. Oh, David Luis, you are the love of my life. Oh, David Luis. To 249. Brozovic. Everybody's so quiet. It's just me and Danielle. Where is everybody? Danielle, you win the gold star for participation. Danielle gets the participatory credit. The rest of you guys, that's it. You're getting a unsatisfactory grade. No participation points. To 75, Marco Verratti and Antonio Candreva. To 299, Stephen Davis. To 75, Fabianski. To 149, Trousteson. There you go, Sean. Yeah, you, you were in earlier. You, you, you got a little participation. All right. We'll move you up the list. <laughs> That's true if your predictions come in. Although, I don't know. I, I followed your Leicester prediction. I haven't followed your uh, Tottenham yet. I'm kind of torn on that one. Sean did participate. Let me see who else was talking earlier. See if anybody else gets participatory. Kev, Kev had a couple of, uh, yeah, Kev, Sean, and Daniel are the only ones that participated. There we go. That's what I call participation right there. 
Warshius, that is... Damn, hold on. I'm trying to remember, Warshius. I know, I know, I know. I know who you are. I just can't remember. All right, Warshius, you got... Uh, Netherlands and Inter. There we go. We're gonna. This is gonna start the rally right here. Another, another Daniel, right? Because we have multiple Daniels. Daniel Balog is Danarchy, I think. If I got the right Daniel. There's another Daniel. Too too many Daniels right now. Federer. That's who it is, right? Daniel Federer, maybe? Uh, yeah, Brandon, I can see what I can find. Is that you? The other Daniel? Daniel Federer? All right, you wanted Netherlands and Inter. Swiss Romania is gone. Oops, actually. Sorry, people are trying to grab teams in 170. I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on? Swiss Romania going to Nicole um, W. Oh, yeah, the price is uh, Danielle. Uh, Netherlands is 27, Inter is 12, so 39 total. Twenty seven for Netherlands, twelve for Inter. Sorry, guys, I'm going to get back to this in a second. What is it? Oh, you're going to spend the night there or what? Okay. You're just leaving now? Yeah, I'm leaving now. Oh. All right. What prompted the late night? Oh. All right. Well, be careful. All right. Bye. Uh, Nicole Meyer. You got it. So, Danarchy. All right. Daniel Balog wants Bosnia. I like Bosnia. Bosnia always does well in the contest. Bosnia, Colombia, and Wales. All right. Here we go, guys. I know we're going to do this. Saturday night. We can do it.
Bosnia, Wales, and what was the other one? Colombia. Turn takes Real. All right, sorry guys, I'm just updating this. We'll get back to this break momentarily. So Real Madrid is gone. Bosnia is gone. Colombia is gone. And Wales is gone. There you have it. Uh, yeah, I have a loose box of Donruss too. I, I have several loose boxes of Donruss actually. So we can do Donruss if you guys want to 199. You know what I do have that's a fun uh, product. I only have one box of it, but we can mix it in. Is uh, that upper deck thing. What's it called? Uh, Goodwin Champions. I got a box of Goodwin Champions too. To one two ninety nine. You can get the dog cards. You can get the Michael Jordan card. You can get presidential cards. It's got all kinds of weird stuff in it. Yeah, I can do Champions League Finest if you guys want. Yeah, I can. I've got several cases of that. So, yeah, and the good thing about that is they don't really have case hits, so I can always uh, break into a case of that. All right, here we go. This is going to be the big one. This is going to be the big one. That's our case hit box right there. And uh, I get the feeling we're going to have a monster for someone. I don't know for who, but someone's going to be happy. Yep, I've got one box of good one. <laughs> Nick's like, hold up. There's good one. I want good one. bucks I believe let me see or 50 bucks blah cards hold on let me see how much I'm into it for Goodwin Champions. Is that the one? Yeah, it's that one. I'm into it. I could do 55 shipped on Goodwin. It's this one here. That's the one that I got. Anyway, let's do this last box. Good luck, guys. This is going to be a sick one right here. I kind of saw there was a green auto in it when I was uh, doing it. So, Okay, let's put the auto right there. That's an auto right there. Clausen. Uh, 
Uh, Prado. I'm sold. You want the box? All right, Kev, you got it. Uh, Arda Turan. No doggies for you. <laughs> you want the box? Yes, yeah, sorry. The doggy has been claimed. Let's try to get uh, that one on the board filled up, guys. We're getting close, so grab your teams in that. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to break it. I'll open it for you right after this. Yeah, I just sent 55, Kev. I'll open it for you right after this uh, case is done. Uh, to 149, Behrami. To 199, Schneider. To 199, Morris. And equalizers, Guardado. Yeah, I'll see. I, I didn't know Goodwin was this popular. I can probably get more Goodwin. I'll see about getting more. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Let's see what color it is. Oh, it's kind of reddish. Means USA, Spain, Portugal, maybe. Come on, Ronaldo. Oh my god. Holy crap, guys. Boom! Cristiano Ronaldo Green. Patch autograph. Holy crap. Devon Sant. Wow. Congrats, Devon. One of five. Sorry, uh, Jose, man. I know Jose is watching. He was rooting for that messy, but sorry, buddy. Ronaldo. That is sick. What a case. This case was nasty. Is that the sock? I don't know what the heck that is. Oh, you want to buy a box, Sean? Of some... uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. One of five. Yeah, a lot better than the last case. This case was amazing. We had a black and we had four greens. Four greens, including a Ronaldo green autograph. And the black. And the gold auto for the ladies. Yeah, this was a really nice case.
Uh, Benedict, I'm hoping if we can fill it, buddy, if we can fill it, I'll break it. So I'll stay on if we can get that filled up. I just don't know if we can fill it. It's a, it's a Friday or Saturday, so I can stay on another few hours. I'm going to do some personals right now as soon as I'm done here. I'm going to start doing some personals, and then uh, we'll see. Hopefully, we can get it filled up. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 teams left. I'll check on Facebook, see if anything else sold. Again, guys, that's a Jersey Palooza break, so that means any of those teams could win you a spot in the Jersey Palooza random. You could win a jersey. Turkey combo with extra mustard. You got it. Some extra mustard on the turkey and Swiss. You should take. You should get a turkey and Swiss combo. Oh, the Swiss is gone. That's my personal favorite. Is the turkey and Swiss combo with extra mayo. All right. Let me do this before we do the recap. Uh, turkey to Nick. All right, Nick, you got Turkey, Galatasaray, and Fenerbahce. All right, down to 15 left. Sweden sour chicken. <laughs> Does that mean you want Sweden? All right, here we go. Recap. The patches, we've got a messy patch, then to 199. We got Spain, Iniesta, and... Casillas, uh, Wesley Schneider, David Luis, Santi Cazorla to 75, Fabianski, uh, Verati and Candreva, Luke Shaw and Clint Dempsey. Uh, numbered, well, this one we got a Mbappe Prism for France, then to 99, we got Kroos and Modric. To 75, Claussen to 60, Martial to 49, Pischek to 30. We've got tie dye, Hector uh, Moy. Hector is Germany, Moy. Uh, Rojas to 25. We've got Payet, Rui Patricio, and Erin Zeko to 20. We have Andres Guardado. Autographs. Uh, Tobin Heath. Uh, Lamella. Inler. McCauley. Gago. Theo Walcott. Hector Bellerin to 99. Tie-dye Adil Rami, 15 of 30 for France. And uh, Aldo Serena, Italy. Historic Sigs. That's to 99. And then our Kaboom was Arda Turan for Turkey. Then we had uh, Alvaro Morata, Chelsea. Marcus Rashford, England, auto, patch auto. Uh, Robin Van Persie, patch auto for the Netherlands. We had a green to five, uh, Mark Milligan for the Aussies. We had green to five for Italy, El Sharawi and Belotti, double patch. We had green to five, uh, Victor Moses for Chelsea. We had a gold, Crystal Dunn, nine of 10 on-card autograph for the ladies. 
We had a one of one black Eder for Inter. One of one and our big boom. Portugal, Cristiano Ronaldo, sickness. One of five. Boom. That is sick, sick, sick. All right, guys, that does it for this. Uh, all right, I'm going to go grab, I guess I got to grab a case. Anybody else interested in Finest? Let me see how much I'm into with Finest. I'll let you guys know. I've pretty much been selling it to you guys at under cost because it's been sitting there for a long time. Uh, let me see. Where it's at. this